Hey guys, it's Mr. Connector again, and look at this green across the board. We were green yesterday morning, and we're green this morning, but let's see if it keeps going today. That would be nice. Today is February 29th, 2024, Leap Day, and these are our favorite coins in the last 24 hours strongholds up another 17 percent trying to rally back again ion dag sologenic juno akash and xrp is now up to 61 cents let's go let's go top volume on the xrp ledger sologenic usd gatehub and corium straight to the stellar ledger usd stronghold and aqua uh, let's look through, see if we see any reds on the stellar ecosystem today. If we're buying anything, we're going to look for those reds. Anything that's down. Ooh, this one's down 40% in the last seven days. PYBC. You might want to look into that. Lux Band IO. I'm not familiar with that one. I'm just pointing out the deep reds. If you're looking to buy some deep reds today. Also, Fred Energy. We hold a little bit of that Fred Energy token. Bought it a while back. We'll have to check in on that. Let's get into some X bookmarks. Here we have from High Vibe Assets. XRP holders, alert, alert. This video should let you know what's about to happen. There's a reason XRP is the only digital asset with clarity. Ripple has a monopoly on the payment space, and XRP is the secret sauce. Things are getting hot. Uh, so that's a pretty bullish post from High Vibe Assets. Let's take a look at this video right quick. The Federal Reserve has a strong interest in ensuring that any stablecoin offering operate within an appropriate federal prudential oversight framework. But when are you going to move into stablecoins? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> when? Yes. <laughs> Bullish. Look, I, I think the stablecoin market is fascinating. Uh, uh, will we do or say more than that? Not today. The Federal Reserve has a strong interest in ensuring that any stablecoin offering operate within an appropriate federal prudential oversight framework. The potentially fast and wide adoption of a global stablecoin, potentially a global currency governed only by the incentives of a private company, only by the incentives of a private company, is something that will deserve and will receive the highest level of regulatory expectations and will receive the highest level of regulatory expectations. Yep, that's why they went after Ripple and XRP. So they do not threaten financial stability or payment system integrity. We have also provided guidance to the banks that we supervise on how they should engage with their supervisors we're considering use of these products. We're considering use of these products. You know, being a highly regulated institution that we are, like we can't touch crypto or stable coins or anything like that. You know, we're not in terms of central bank digital currencies, we continue to speak to a broad range of stakeholders. Our research is currently focused on end-to-end -end system architecture, such as how ledgers that record ownership of and transactions in digital assets. Um, we will, and if we can have that distributed ledger that we know every beneficial owner, every beneficial uh, seller, we all have our, our, our code right. of who's buying, who's selling, instantaneous settlement. And think about I like the Phoenix overlay there on the graphics. But it changes the whole ecosystem. Are maintained, secured, and verified, as well as tokenization. We must consider where, whether our understanding and computation of traditional monetary and liquidity indicators need to be re-evaluated considering new types of payments through cooperation across borders, industries, and professions so we can develop a comprehensive and consistent approach of measuring these new payment methods. So, wow, they are considering using these new payment methods at the IMF, the Fed, and it's all got to interoperate together. You know, we're on the outside looking in and all we see is the possibilities, but those possibilities are strong. And we're starting to see a little bit of disclosure on this matter. Let's keep going. 
Bullish, bullish. Uh, here we have from Digital Assets Daily, BRICS begins creation of new digital payments platform. Russia's finance ministry, along with the Central Bank of Russia, will propose several new financial incentives to BRICS. The proposal aims to improvise and change the international monetary and global financial system as we know it. Russia will particularly focus on creating a new digital BRICS bridge payment platform, which will be a multi-sided option to the U.S. dollar. The development is currently in draft and could be proposed next summit in October 2024. The proposal will not only create a new BRICS digital platform, but will also contain a set of financial incentives and recommendations. The multi-sided digital platform aims to grow as an alternative settlement without the need for the U.S. dollar. Russia will take the first step of de-dollarization by convincing the bloc to accept the new BRICS digital payment platform. BRICS is bringing in the heat. They are a competitor to the United States dollar. They're backing their currencies with hard assets. In my opinion, this is what the dollar needs to do. We need to back our dollar with gold or silver. Here they go on to say the Russian finance ministry and the bank of Russia confirmed that a BRICS bridge payment platform is on the cards. The development could see the light of day by the end of this year, 2024. By the end of the year, Russian Finance Ministry and Bank of Russia will draft a report for BRICS. The draft will talk about improving the international monetary and financial system, which contains a set of initiatives and recommendations. Developmental work based on the report will result in a number of practical initiatives, with BRICS Bridge Platform potentially becoming one of them. The issue is about creating a multi-sided digital platform it will help bring the financial markets of the BRICS member states closer and increase mutual trade turnover. This is huge, folks. This looks like what most of the other countries want. So we better prepare for this. The dollar is nothing but a, a IOU to private banking families. And here we have DAI posting. Rumor that Senator Warren is meeting with Digital Chamber today in D.C. Why now? John Deaton for Senate, that's why. So Warren's meeting with the Digital Chamber of Commerce. Why is she meeting with them? She's anti-crypto. She's building an anti-crypto army, I thought she said. Hmm. And DAI also posted this morning, Wall Street is watching this, already planning for their next digital asset ETF. Will it be the Chinese Ethereum with Bill Hemmen fake clarity? Or American XRP with legal clarity? Good question. And here's one from January of last year, 2022. This is why I'm building the first blockchain bank from Marshall Hainer, Metallicus. Imagine a bank that not only tolerates cryptocurrency, but welcomes the amazing people and businesses growing the future of finance. It pays to be first. So if you didn't know, Metallicus has the first crypto bank in existence. And we follow Black Swan Capitalists. We're weeks away from the wave of property loan defaults, totaling over $3 trillion in interest rate loans. This design is to crush the regional banks nationwide to further consolidate and reshape the banking system. Americans really need to wake up to the reality of this situation. And here it says, Wall Street is worried about another regional banking crisis. Imagine that. Yeah, this system can't go on forever the way it was set up. It was just, um, you know, there's a life cycle to this financial system we're currently under. And we are getting to the end of it, if you ask me. Here we have Truth Labs posting. Tomorrow I will share never seen before blockchain evidence further proving ethereum's ccp connections to wang zhang blockchain and china ledger this time i will start to share some of the bitcoin blockchain evidence we've gathered over the last couple of years Ooh, so these moving from ethereum to bitcoin with the ccp connections keep your eye on that coindesk posted about iota's recently launched ecosystem foundation set to make its first series of investments, committing $10 million to early-stage startups. Don't forget about IOTA. They've been in the background this whole time. Internet of Things. 
Uh, I've always thought IOTA is how all these robots are going to pay each other. And Metal Pay posts, Hello at X, you're about to see a lot more of us. MetalPay.com. I wonder what they mean by that. You're about to see a lot more of us. And Casino Coin, Before our expansion to Ethereum, Solana, and Zahal, let's take a look at some of our stats. So I guess that's why Casino Coin's been pumping the last few days. They are going to be a multi-chain coin running on Ethereum, Solana, and Zahal. And from Text RP, we did a video a couple days ago on Text RP. This is a browser extension in Brave. I've used it. I've tried it out. It is very cool. You can actually make, uh, you can text and make voice calls to an XRP wallet address. So as long as you've logged in with your wallet, you can prove your identity, prove it's you. Uh, you know, no one else can use that account because you've got the private keys. So that's so cool, guys. So cool. Um, if you hadn't seen that, go check out my text RP video. And Edward Snowden posting prediction. A national government will reveal this year to have been buying Bitcoin, the modern replacement for the monetary gold, without having disclosed that fact publicly. Oh, so he's saying a country government has been buying Bitcoin and they're about to disclose that. Pretty cool. Let's see which one. And right quick from Bondcrypt Digital Assets Advocate. Folks, if true, buckle up. This is what we've been expecting for some time now. Bail-ins. Europe has run out of money and needs to mobilize all the savings of Europeans currently dormant in Euro banks. ACs too. Finance the future. Europe's defense efforts. Not trying to scare anyone out there, but bail-ins have happened before you know they've gone into what was that country was it cyprus i think where they went in and gave uh all the big uh accounts a they went in and deducted a little bit of money off the top of all the large accounts just because they needed the money that's a bail-in and these are what banks are up to now they have deals with governments to do bail-ins scary stuff that's why we hold our own crypto. We self custody. Before we get out of here today, we've got Echo X again. Echo the Truth on X posting about the U.S. debt clock. I love this guy's posts. You, can, you everyone needs to follow him. In this image of a debt clock, there's a wealth of information, all echoing back to the Declaration of Independence and our Constitution. It's about regaining control, not over just our finances, but also our self sovereignty and independence. To me, it feels like the greatest story ever told. It's where we, the people created by God, break free from the shackles of centuries past and rise anew, armed with the tools provided by God to win this battle. Blockchain and distributed ledger technology. I like where he's going with that. Back to the green in the market today. We're still looking strong. Let's check out XRP right quick. Still at 60 cents. Stellar at 12 cents. Let's keep this rally going. Leave me a comment if you got anything to say. We'll have a dialogue. Like and subscribe. Mr. Connector out.